Everybody's funny. Thank you. I'm, I'm from the United States. Uh, I do have a sad story, though. I was doing comedy one time. I was the compare, and the guy up front was the headliner, so I quit for a while. Uh, so I'm back. I'm trying this, so don't be mean to me. I won't be mean to you. Uh, I'm living here now in Grantham. Uh, I, I'm from Santa Claus, Indiana. Has anybody heard of that? Have you ever heard of Santa Claus? No? Okay, it's true, and if you have children, you may not know it, but if they send letters to Santa, we get most of them. Santa Claus, Indiana, North Pole, Alaska, and a town in Sweden called Santa Claus. We got maybe 160,000 letters from kids all over the world to Santa last year, and we burn them. And, uh, <laughs> it's a big bonfire. It's really nice. Our heating bill's nine dollars, not pounds, dollars. It's amazing. So I'm a little off, and I apologize. I, it was there was an alternate bus to go get my suit, and I'm a little off. And I've been off ever since for 25 years in comedy. I've, I've been called, everybody, everybody walks up to me, you look, you look just like Robin Williams. And now he passed away, and I, I don't want to be sad, but I, I feel different all of a sudden. I feel like I, I'm not my same guy, you know? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Although, London's real nice. I did a show over across town, and goes, you still look like Freddy Krueger. That was nice. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I get, do I look, a person came up to me the other day and said, you look like a lot of ugly people. Do I look like a lot of ugly people? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's so sad. I was on a carnival cruise. Oh, I was at Asda. Here, that's your, you have a store called that. So anyway, uh, I was at Asda, and this guy comes up and he goes, you're Bill Gates. I was like, yes, I like cheap shopping, Bill Gates, yes. I was on a carnival cruise. Have you ever cruised before? Cruise? No? Yeah, yeah, the whole crowd, we've never done anything you've done. I work for Carnival Cruise Line, so they're nice. Oh, I don't like, I, okay, why is it people in their 80s and 90s who aren't stable on land <laughs> think a cruise is a good idea? It's so sad. You see these little old men, and they're walking up the middle of the ship. Little, it makes me, my heart just falls. These little men, they're like, uh, and the ship rocks, they go, oh, oh. I thought you'd move the camera. Okay, great. Anyway. Okay. So anyway, I'm on the ship. This guy runs up and goes, man, you look just like Rod Stewart. He's 105, man. Why would you be that mean to me? I don't know. And then here, I, where was I? And the guy comes up and he goes, wow, you look just like Stephen Hawking. Wow. Is that me? I was like, I am Stephen Hawking. It's a miracle. They took away 200 IQ points. I get the walk in there. So mean. So mean. We need to be nicer to dumb people. I think that's my point today. We need to be nicer to dumb people. Uh, in the States, we're vilely hateful to dumb people, and here you're passive aggressive, which is worse when you're passive aggressive. But we're so mean to dumb people. I give you two reasons why I need to be nicer, because some of you are disagreeing with me. Number one is, if you ever wonder where kids learn about bullying, it's because when you attack somebody or you're walking away from somebody and you call them names and they're stupid and stuff, your kids see that and, and guess who acts dumb at school? The kid with autism, right? That happens. And also, there's a lot of dumb people in the world, man. And about half, would you agree about half the people aren't that smart in the world? Yes, yeah, more than half. I'm looking out at you, a lot of you don't look that bright. Maybe, and if you're mad at me, you just kind of picked your team there. But anyway, wow, and you picked against me. But we're so mean. And we'll do in the States, we'll, well, I mean, people will drive through a McDonald's, and some kid 19 will just leave like the pickle or onion off, and we'll scream at them like they murdered our families, man. If we had a stick, we'd beat people to death over cheese, and our kids are right there with us. Kill him, daddy! He forgot my nuggets! I want him dead! I want him dead! What is wrong with us? It's just cheese, but we can't help it. We've got to be mean. And by the way, here's a tip. If you go to the McDonald's, and your order's wrong, and you go away, you're the idiot. It's probably going to be wrong. If somebody works at McDonald's, gets 10 orders right in a row, they become district manager, okay? <laughs> but we got to throw hate at them. I don't believe in that, man. I hope you don't do that to the people you're close to, right? Like my wife is a doctor, okay? She really is. She has a DR that her name and a PhD at that end. Really, if this doesn't go well, I don't need you people at all. This is, <laughs> this is a hobby. <laughs> I do a comedy gig. She goes, did you get some money, little <laughs> Look at you. So we're going to get you a bank account. <laughs> Have a debit card got your name all on it? That's not. Nice. I don't know why she's suddenly from the South. But anyway, my wife and I took our daughter. She's 12. And I'll close with a thing about my daughter. It's not funny, but what the hell. So anyway, my daughter, we went to a movie. And we were sitting in the movie. And the lights came down in the movie. 
And then on the screen it said, please turn off your cell phone, right? And my wife panicked and she goes, oh no, it's in the car. 